Okay, my wonderful friends, this is Roger Spur, Mud Fossil University. We're just going to confront the little issues that just seem so obvious. They're hard for me to confront, and I can't believe that they're, they're not understood. The sun, the surface is 6,000 degrees, let's say. Out here at the corona, it's millions of degrees. That's because the particles they're trying to get out of the atmosphere into what they call a vacuum space. It's not a vacuum. It's loaded with all the particles from not only the sun, but every body in the universe that spits out particles. It's a soup. It's the ether. They knew about this in Plato's time. That's why the surface is very cold, literally, compared to where the outside surface is. This, and the same thing happens on Earth. So, on the surface, 6,000 degrees, out at the solar corona, millions. They can't figure this out. It's, I, I think it's just unbelievable. Now, on the Earth, the exact same thing. The Earth, the planet on here, it's 80 degrees, 85 degrees, whatever it is. Out at the, the, the outer atmosphere, where we scrub, just like the sun is scrubbing, we are spinning through that soup and scrubbing. And here is exactly what happens. Let me point it over. You see this? You see that? That's exactly what's happening. The rays of the sun are coming down in copious quantities, every color of the spectrum. Let me just make sure I can, yeah, you can see that, all right? And the earth is spinning like this, scrub, 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 scrub. Uh, trying to force the electrons down. Now, the ionosphere, what is an ion? It's an electron. <laughs> That's what's coming down here. We don't see them because they're so small, but they're particles of light. We know we're being bashed by light all the time. And they're making a big mistake if they put particles out here in space thinking they're going to bounce that stuff back. It is not going to happen. It's scrubbing against those particles. If we put actual chunks of matter up here rather than gases, we're screwed. Right now we're spinning through gases, but we're blowing up our envelope with combustion particles. It's just like blowing up a balloon. That's why the CO2 is a problem. It's not because it's making a blanket around the sun and holding the particles from escaping. Absolutely not. They're not going to escape. They're not going to escape. We have to stop the emission of gases from solid matter. Solid matter, once it's in solid matter, it's, it's very, very confined. Once you combust that, it, it's thousands of times sometimes bigger than it was when it was in its solid form. Water expands 1,600 times when you, uh, I believe it's 1,600, when you evaporate it even. Now, the Earth will eat these electrons in the right amount. But right now, the Earth is just so overloaded with electrons, it's ready to explode. And it's, and it's scrubbing the outer atmosphere so hard now. Listen to this. Just think about this. Just give it a thought. Here it is up here. Here's our atmosphere that's coating our Earth. We know what we're living in. It rolls around with our Earth. It doesn't just stop and we're spinning inside of it. So it's going. But when it goes, it scrubs here. You see that? Scrub, 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 scrub. So it's scrub, 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 scrub. Heating, heating, heating. Electrons are flowing. Lightning strikes 50 times a second, I think, around the Earth because we're scrubbing, collecting those electrons that are coming at us. It's as simple as that. 2,700 degrees, 80 degrees here. Millions out on this corona, 6,000 on the surface. It's, every luminous body sends out particles. It's, it, it really is just hard to believe that this mist. And I want to talk to somebody about these kind of problems because they're spending all this crazy money doing something that just is it's uns, uh, literally insane to me. I'm sorry. I've been doing this for years and years and years, and not a single person will pay attention to even listen. They're not, 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 you know, they, they can't refute anything I'm saying, not a single word I've been saying. So they just hide. This is not right. I'm sorry I have to keep doing this, but I've been doing it for years and years. Anybody who's ever listened to me knows I keep doing the same freaking road, and I came to the same freaking dead end. Okay, my wonderful friends, this is Roger Spur, Mud Fossil University, and if you have been paying attention to anything that I've said, I have been extremely critical of the people that are doing the space research. And they are going out with this Parker Solar Probe, 
to do this. Listen. ...of the Parker Solar Probe and the Solar Orbiter are similar to a great extent. Both these missions aim to find out more about our sun's corona, its solar winds, coronal mass ejections, the structure of the sun's magnetic field, and simply how it all fits together. The sun... Okay, they're going to go to the corona, they're going to penetrate the corona and get inside the corona. Now, they talk about temperatures. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Let's just continue on here. The sun, like all stars, is a ball of plasma. They think that. Plasma is superheated matter. All right, here we go. The sun, like all stars, is a ball of plasma. Plasma is superheated matter, so hot that the electrons are stripped away from the atoms, leaving an ionized gas. I agree with that. And why does that happen? The sun has an atmosphere of extremely hot but tenuous plasma extending out for millions of kilometers called the sun's corona. You can see the plasma atmosphere in this image, although typically it is far harder to see than the sun itself as the sun's outer layer, known as the photosphere, is much brighter. The ideal time to spot the sun's corona is during a solar eclipse, when the moon blocks out the photosphere disk, leaving just the wispy arms of the corona visible. The strange thing about the sun's corona is that its temperature is between 1 million and 3 million degrees Celsius, whereas the sun's surface temperature is only about 5,500 degrees Celsius. All right, there's no need to go any further. They simply do not understand anything they're doing in space. And I'll show you why. I'll tell you why it's 5,000 degrees on the surface and millions of degrees out at the corona. Same thing are the same with Earth. It's 2,700 degrees outside, way out on the outer edge. And down on the surface, it's like 85 degrees or whatever it is. It's a lot of hell of a lot of difference. Why is it 2,700 out here? And on the sun, why is it millions out here and only 6,000 or 5,500 on the surface? I know why. Okay, there's a couple of things we're going to have to talk about. Is why are we going forward in our solar system? Why is, does everything spin to the right? I understand this, and it's push to shove. But let's understand about, first of all, push to shove. In a second, we'll see it. But you could see something is coming off the edge of the sun off the edge. The sun is spinning, we're spinning, the, the whole thing is being pulled through the arm of the galaxy of the Milky Way. Now let's take a look at that. Alright, this is the galaxy and it's spinning. Let's just say this is the Milky Way. I don't know if it is or not, but let's just say it is. And let's just say we're over here. And that's our sun, one of these stars. They're all stars. And they're all giving off enormous quantities of photons and electrons. And why? Because they're being crushed. You say, well, how do you know that, Roger? Well, obviously, they're spinning and it's being pushed back this way. They're forcing themselves into the particles that exist everywhere in space. Nothing is a vacuum in space. Absolutely insane to think that the particles that are being emitted from all these things don't go, don't go anywhere. There's nothing there. Now, there is push to shove, and this is exactly like the interference patterns. This white matter pushes this way, and it's got black matter attached to it, and this one pushes that way, and you end up with a sort of a moderate zone, let's call it that. A lot less energy in between the two pushers. It's push to shove. That's all it is. So they're never going to get right on top of each other. It's pushes, and, and this guy comes up in this way, and he says, no, 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 you're going to have to get out of my way. And he says, no, no, no. And he says, well, if you stay that far away, we're okay. We, I can live with that. Don't get over this way. Some of these in here could be doing who knows what they're doing, right in the middle of everything. I don't know. Some of them are crossing paths. What's going to happen there? What if we're here? And we're going to crash into this piece. Now, this takes a very long time to spin, I'm sure. But you can see, obviously, it's being like twisted like a wrench and just crushing itself. That's why the center is glowing. Anytime you have a stronger push and a shove back, you get more excitation, more illumination, more photonic interaction. That's exactly what happens. So, 
this is, and, they, and they're all over the place. It's not just one of these. They're everywhere. And there is bazillions of stars in every one of them. And every one of those stars is given out tons of particles. And we are, every, we, everybody, all of us are washing through this thing like, this is just like we're in a bowl of water. And we're all particles swishing through that water. And we don't even realize the water's there because we've just been living in it. And, and there's no reason for these temperatures to be they were. It's just absolute insanity not to understand this. Why would that be pushed back like that? I think I'm going to, anyway, very frustrating because I've been talking about this for many, many years. And they just disregard it and go about their way. Not a, not a single word has ever been spoken back to me about it. Nobody's ever said, no, you're wrong. They just don't talk.